wreath from Christmas time. Um, as you can see, it's dead, but it's too late. Um, I made a beard feet, and I thought it was a good, good idea to put this on a pole. Here's the pole going up, it's quite high up. Put that on it so it's got a bit of protection from like prey and stuff. See, you know, so um, and you've got some seeds inside with apples as well as um, a bird feed thing. Twigs for protection, you've got all that protection so they can just jump up along here. Pretty good, simple, and um, food on the bird feeder as well as well as inside. Now I got these, I'm going to put some um, seeds on here too, I think that would be a good idea. This has gone out a date, right, bought it Christmas time, used a little bit at Christmas time, I haven't used it, which is a shame, it's been in the back of my fridge. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is add this to the bird feeder just for it to have like a little resorption sort of thing so the seeds will go on it so i'm going to use a pot um this pot here okay put the cranberry on top in there okay and then get i've got some bird seeds and put them on top i just mix them in so i put the bird seeds on i'm just mixing it in and you'll see the cranberry is sticky and it'll stick to the seeds Okay. I also got these what I made before. You basically put stri tie string to both ends and you've got a bird feeder this way. As well I got on my reef. So what I'm gonna do just just sprinkle it all on like this, okay? Can just let it go on automatically. Keep on turning it and it will stick to the seeds. The seeds will stick to the stuff, which is pretty cool, as you can see. And you can spread more on just by placing them on. Mix of the cranberry as well as the bird seeds. Okay, and just... It goes on pretty thick as well, as you can see. Pretty thick. You can almost almost not tell what the shape is. <laughs> Make sure it goes all over. This was made over a year ago when it's been outside. Um, this thing. Birds ate it, but I'm adding to it again. And we keep on adding to it. So just because you use it once doesn't mean you put it in the bin afterwards. You can keep on using it. There's one. The birds will love it. Might be some spiders in there. As I can see from cobwebs, I don't know. But basically, the birds will love it. Do the same with this one. So here you go. We've got two ones already done. And I'm going to also, on my reef, I got these on this. I'm going to add to my reef as well. So I've got these here, right? And before, all I did was hang them on both of the sides of the birdhouse, okay? Like, like that. I've got my reef as well and i got little ones on here so I can add to there as well. So I've got my... Oh, oh! <laughs> it's harder than I thought but I'll, I'll get there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to lift this by here and then just sprinkle it on through here. Okay, like that. And then mix it in. So I did it by there. Also here, just you just spread it in with a knife. Okay and um it'll just be there and then that will dry and it'll be stuck and hard once it's dry all along here right we see it by here it's bird poo right by there so i can tell they've been pecking at it all by here is gone we've still got loads on the other sides um so that's good i put some more on the top some just spread it with a knife by there i put my um pot underneath like that so that will do some by here this is a good idea, basically, to see the birds. I did buy this half coconut from the shop, and um, it had coconut stuff in it, but it's empty. I always add stuff to there, so basically the rest of the bird seeds I got left, I got a couple left in the pot here, I'm going to add that on there. 
to the um, right minute up to there. Okay. Also, it was a tiny bit left, so where they've eaten it on this birdhouse, I just replace it. See? You feed birds regular, and you've got bird seed, and you've got stuff that's going on all the day, and you want it to stick to stuff. Just feed them a bit more. Then um, use all your jams and stuff that's gone out of date, or once you've opened them, they've gone over the 30 days, so you can use them. Still fine for the birds to do and eat, you know. And um, it's a way of not wasting food as well as um, the birds saving your money, not buying so much bird seeds because you're mixing it with the bird seeds you've got, so it saves a bit because they'll eat the both. The good thing about recycling and doing this, like the reef, um, Christmas time I had it, and it's um, obviously it's the cover is gone. But it's not decayed, so rather than just chuck it in the bin or set it on fire, you know, and get rid of it waste wise, it's, it's still it obviously like it's dead, but it's like still here, so you can just add food on it. The birds will love to go on it because there's loads of bit bits where you can um, it be sheltered from this pair of predators. And it's like when you buy stuff from the shop, like this coconut thing, what I've done, um, you can just um, reuse it and keep on reusing it rather than just chuck it in the bin. So always think about your waste. You know, and these, you know, when you make them, you can keep on reusing them until they're gone. You know, until they look like they came. But like this wreath probably will last for Christmas time, if not longer. It doesn't look like it's decaying at all. And it's just another way, if you haven't got many trees and that in the garden, you want to pick it up. You know, and you can always spray it with different colours, make it not look so dead and more fashionable. Put some gold on it or something, or make it more green. Spray some green spray on it. But it's pretty cool, and you can just add to it. And it's like a feed, it's a feeding ground for the, the birds. So they got like by here. Right? bird feeder thing. You've got things by here here going all the way around there. They've got a bird house right by there. The normal bird seed thing what I bought from the shop ages ago. As well as that. But always make your own stuff. We made these ages ago. So it all adds to it. And sometimes I like to sneak food down in there and then the birds go inside and eat the food. So they're like a bit like they're protected, not like a cat or anything going to get them. It's a really, really good activity to do with your kids, and it's like you know, those acorn things you can keep on putting them out, you know, so add into them so you don't have to chuck them in the bin. And the kids will be like, Oh, I want to make every member every week, I want to add to the bird feeder because the birds were the eight in them, and then it's just a nice activity to do with the kids. Especially when it's like a rainy day, you ha you don't you're not going out, and you're stuck in the house. Um, especially with COVID, you know, <laughs> if you're in lockdown, you can't come go out. You know, you can just make stuff like that. It's really handy, and you can just out to your garden. So this Christmas, keep your reefs, don't bin them, and do something like that, because then you're not um chuck them out in the waste or like burning them um, and it's bad for the environment you're keeping them and you can always spray them green if you don't want it to look um, dead and that will keep to them a bit but they're, they're not even like nowhere near they just don't deform so it's like how many months down the line now since Christmas we're in April now so that's four months five months since I've had it because it was the beginning of Christmas like late November that was made for me so yeah it's pretty cool <laughs> so yeah uh, just a lovely idea just a way of not using so much waste and obviously also when if you feed birds regular as a way of um, saving on your bird seeds by mixing them with um, stuff that's going out gone out a day stuff you know in your fridge 
birds will still eat them. Um, as long as it's not mouldy, birds will still eat it and it just adds to it basically. And um, yeah, they'll enjoy it loads. You can do it all tight, tight gooey food waste and just add to them if you want to and keep on putting them up. So it's pretty cool. It's high up away from birds as well, a uh, bit uh, cats and stuff. So then, you know, it's all protected. So I just thought it's something cool, something to share and hope you enjoyed then. Maybe make one yourself. Bye for now. Yes, I need a knife. Let's see if I can find one just to get in it first. Okay. Once I got a knife, I got some scissors, okay. Where I can go like this. Okay, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be making a birdhouse. Okay. I don't need to do it quite that much but I'll show you it now rather than just leave it like that okay so there you go um this is supposed to be a birdhouse so go in go out like that um I'm going to put it in like that just so it's got a protected layer, you know, so it won't go through so quick. This has gone off, it's the 25th on it now. Um, I didn't eat it in time. It's at the back of my fridge. Sometimes I buy these when I want to be lazy, not um, cook a meal. Um, I didn't realise the date, which is a shame. So I'll be using this, okay. I've got some dead flowers. Okay, um, I, I kept these for a reason. Um, I had these Valentine's Day. So we're in April now and they're proper dead. So take these stems off. The reason I kept them, because I didn't want to chuck them in the bin and stuff like that. So the ends, well, I'm not going to keep the rose. I'm going to keep these um, roses and that for something else. I can put it through here. So it's no way of not wasting your stuff. Okay, so I'm going to pick a hole with a knife going by here. Oh, that went, might have been a bit too um, thick. Okay, but now I can add that hole. I can put that through here and add through here. See, so it's a twig for birds to go on. And they can go on it when they go in the, the bird uh, feeder at the same time. Okay. So that's a good thing. Same. I've got to do it. Same with these. Because people just chuck these in their waste bins and it's like, um, you might as well just let them in your garden and let them depose on your own. But do something with them at the same time. These won't last forever. They'll be nothing soon. But uh, the thing is, it's good. So I'm going to put another gap about by here and do another one about by here. Just so when they, they're not going to be trapped inside the bird feeder sort of thing. This time I'm going to see if I, if I... You have to watch your hands when you're doing it. A knife will be better. Watch your hands when you're doing it. Oh! It goes, it goes quite easy through, but this time I'm going to oh, add it like that. Wait a minute. Okay, so then you've got another one right by here. Going the right way through here. See? So, it just keeps it more like, oh, the birds can jump on one twig to the next. Um... This one I'm going to put two in because it's got more room and it won't go so loose, okay? It'll keep them tight and a bit stable, okay? I might put an extra one. Oh, see, look at that. Okay, so break this off. 
You can do it, it'd be easier to do, uh, use a pair of scissors to have it how you want it. Okay. And then you can add another one to it like that, just to add it a bit tight sort of thing. Like this string was with it, I can use that for something if I want as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I can use it as a maybe as a rope going across like this so basically i could even add this going through put that through put this through as well oh if i can get it through and then you can put it up like this and tie it to a branch it's got love hearts on because it was a valentine theme flowers and it just it just adds to it basically um it adds to it and i can tie that into a knot and um go from there tie that into a knot now so that's a really like really good idea to do okay it's a way it's not waste this would have went in the waste bin and you can't recycle that so now it's another use for it so which is really good as you can see another use <laughs> so we've got the twigs by here um now i might you, you know you can always do all different things you don't have to keep to what you want to do yeah just keep that down like that okay now that's quite a good bird feeder for what's it called you can still add to it if you want to and i got these from the flowers as well so i can use that for something as well if i want it to as well um i also got a couple of these left they've gone a bit um hard the pack's been left open so i can add that to it as well so make this bit wider when I go like that wait a minute see this bit right here so it's totally food oh oops the books can pack it anyway when it's gone through I can do the same thing by here they can pack oh it breaks really easy so you need to be careful with them but it's just a way of to get more food okay got sesame seeds and that's broken inside so it's not an amazing idea but it's something you can just add to okay Ugh. add that to it as well it's just extra food what they can eat from the outside of the bird food these apples are two weeks out of date so um they look okay but after a week out of date i don't like to eat them so hang on let me get i've got a knife here cut the apples up okay They, too, they haven't gone mouldy. If they were mouldy, I would have put them in the bin. But they're like not eatable now. You can, you can tell they're a bit. What's it called? So I got this. This is out of date as well. We do go through a lot of food um, in this house, and we don't get eaten in time because my kids are so fussy eating. So basically, what you do, you just you can uh, that in there. If you can get it on like that spread it so it's like two sort of types of meals okay you obviously if you've got the bird seeds i can just put on like this and they will stick to it so it's a way of what using less of your bird seeds and then they can eat other foods okay and you'll save your bird seeds Okay, you go on like that and like that. Then you can put that inside the bird feeder. Okay. Oops. 
Also, I'll get a knife. I'll show you something else as well. Just because it's inside, you can also add to the outside. It's a way for them to eat their food. And then you add some bird seeds on them. See? Pretty good idea. And you're using less bird seeds than you would now. And it's pretty cool. So it's like a really good thing to do with your food waste. You can add inside there and outside. Okay. So you can't see the box and you'll notice when the birds are eating it. <laughs> but it's like, like, this is not gooey, it's like mashy. But it will stick once it dries. Okay. Which is pretty cool. You just spread it along. Okay, so if you got you make mash yourself and it goes out of date, you, or you let kids leave some on their plate, uh, you can just obviously put it, grab it and chuck it, add to your recycling um, food waste. You can just do stuff like that. It won't all stick, but the stuff that go, goes down, you can reuse, re put sweep all these back up and put in the bag afterwards but it's just something different basically and then you're let, using less bird seeds and then yeah you're using less bird seeds but uh, you're using more of the food waste so um it's just another way it's feeding the you know the birds is a good thing you know, especially this time of year. Um, obviously, it's good to feed them in the winter, but it's like mating season at the moment, so they they're pairing on nests and stuff. So they want to like food, and obviously, pregnant bird. You know, obviously, um, they lay eggs, and then they're going to be like exhausted, ain't they? So it's a, a good way, good thing to do with the kids. The kids love this stuff. They do it in the garden with them because they'll make a lot of mess <laughs> and it won't make no difference because in the garden it's easier to clean up and um, yeah it's just basically pretty cool to do okay. and um, once this is hanging up you can take it down as many times as you want and just keep on adding to it or add to it in, in the garden and kids will love to do that my advice, though, is if your kid's doing it, use a, um, a what's it called, knife, a, um, a plastic knife. And this is to do with your kids, not alone, because it can be dangerous doing this bit as well. So it's a nice hobby to do with your kids. Wait a minute, get my food. And you can just add to it. Okay, you can mix this the the seeds into the mash as well before you actually add it on. So that's another good way as well. It might make sense and make a lot less of a mess. So that's what I'll do now. I'll mix some of that in there. Okay. Kids will love to mash that up with their hands <laughs> as well. See, so it's just all like mixed in. Okay. Obviously, you can add to it. You think, oh, that's not enough seeds. You can add to it. You know, kids will love to do this. My kids will just use their hands and just spread it on like that. Okay. Like that. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Now. So that goes all the way around and add to the top because obviously the top is where they will like to go on okay and I could take this lid off okay so the birds can have a look peek through what's inside okay so you can add to it also Put the apples inside there 
okay you can pick mash the mash like that on the apples and then put the seeds on as well it's good to just cram in with your hands okay and it's just like loads in there then and they can just oh. that's broke already if i not done it really right right but you can just add to it the birds will definitely love to eat these okay they'll be feasting on the inside and out and there you go you got your bird feeder here if you want to add more twigs that's that's okay too i'm going to take these flowers off because i'm going to be using these flowers for something else even though they're dead you can add to the flowers as well you know you can put flowers on here okay oh there you go and then um obviously that one broke so i'm gonna just add that to it um yeah. it doesn't have to go all the way through it will stay but it's that only light that will stay but you know it's quite good can have one going through this bit as well if i wanted so i can go like this oh like that and add one of these oh wait a minute put it with scissors this time it'll be easier like this like that like that oh wait a minute i don't know if that's too thick and then they just got something oh i broke that didn't i <laughs> it was definitely too thick they dropped something to lay on there basically okay that's too thick so basically yeah they'll have something to like go on there before they get in there want some prey oh and the bits you can just add through it see these you can just add in there and they will stick pretty cool if you ask me proper bird feeder so yeah you got this going all the way along and you can just add to it so here we go and that is finished you put it all on you can add more to it if you want to and once the birds eat more you can keep on adding to it you've got like apples with seeds inside and you've got like mash on the outside mixed with seeds like on this side it's loads of seeds here but this side i actually um, mixed it in here with the seeds so it doesn't look like as much but th there is so <laughs> It's a good way, mashed potato, well this is sweet potato, it obviously does last, and obviously it lasts for, you know, ages. And you've got some seeds at the end, you can put in here or you can put back in your bird, what's it called? But, it's pretty cool if you ask me. And then you've got that, the hole there, they can maybe peck at the, what's inside as well. Okay. Good day. The pips, <laughs> look, the pips have um, grown inside it. So you can make even plant that and make a tree. That's pretty cool as well. So I was going to add a couple more, just so at the top they can peck into that as well. So it'll be a bit cool adding to it all. Got no trees or anything in the garden you can just put it like on a pole like this and the birds will get to each side anyway like this so they could tag on pretty cool for the birds to eat and you can top some seeds in there constantly that goes down inside if you wanted to
Okay. And now you've got birds up here. A black bird by here. A seagull by here. Another black bird. They've um, noticed my bird feeder, so I think they're all wanting to eat it right now. See them waiting for me? Got two there, blackbirds. Well, they're all they're like, oh, they can smell it probably. Flowers or anything like that, what you've had for Valentine's Day or throughout the year, you could always use like dead twigs off little trees in your gardens or plants, any twigs in the garden or anything like that, you can use them instead.